Good evening. Thank you for joining us for the first ever Special Olympics South Carolina Virtual Auction. On behalf of Special Olympics South Carolina Board of Directors and the more than 30,000 athletes around the state, I'd like to welcome you. I'm Dina Dill and I'll be your host for the rest of the evening. As a member of the Board of Directors, I know firsthand how your support impacts our athletes. Special Olympics creates an environment of inclusion through sports and celebrates the courage of our athletes and the challenges that they overcome every day. The format for our annual gala is different this year, but our mission is the same, to empower people with intellectual disabilities to discover their inner champion. And we do that not just through sports competitions and sports training that we're all familiar with, but we also help them access health care, education, community building, and leadership programs. We want tonight to be fun and inspirational and a win-win for all of us. Over the next few minutes, we're going to talk to the Special Olympics South Carolina president and CEO. We're going to hear from some of our amazing athletes and their families, and you will have the opportunity to start participating in our auction. This broadcast kicks off five days of open bidding on our website, and the bidding will close Tuesday, November 24th at 9 p.m. I'm going to walk you through the quick and simple process of registering to bid, show you how to bid, and we're going to spotlight a few of our premier auction items. But first, we have some incredible title sponsors for this event, and we want to recognize and honor them. Thank you to our $10,000 title sponsors, Dominion Energy and Apollon Wealth Management. Your support is more important than ever as our athletes face the extra challenges due to this pandemic. Thank you to our $5,000 champion sponsors, Bird Hardware, First Citizens Bank, Jim Hudson Automotive Group, Joe and Lisa Rice, Mason Automotive, Sands Investment Group, and Tim and Jennifer Smith. Your generosity could not be more appreciated. You are truly game changers for our athletes. Thank you to our $3,000 Platinum sponsors, Barnwell, Whaley, Patterson and Helms, and Delaney's Oyster House. And to our $2,500 Gold Plus sponsors, Carolina Comfort and Sumter Utilities. It's strong teammates like all of you who help create an environment of respect, joy, and acceptance for our athletes. So thank you. Many more companies and individuals continue to support this event, and you can find the complete list on our gala website. So far, drum roll please, we have over $90,000 in sponsorships. Woo! It's awesome. And on that very impressive note, I would like to introduce you to a very impressive man with some very impressive titles. He is my good friend. He's a really fun person, a great dad, loving husband, an accomplished business leader, an all-around great guy, and he just happens to also be the president and CEO of Special Olympics South Carolina, Mr. Barry Coates. <laughs> thank you, Dana. First, let me say thank you for joining us tonight. It's been a difficult year. For all of us, not only did we have an unprecedented pandemic and imposed quarantine, our Special Olympics community had to do something that was beyond anyone's thoughts. We counseled eight state level competitions, including summer and fall state games, and on top of that, more than 20 local spring games, invitationals, and regional events. During this time, the health and safety of our athletes, our coaches, our staff, and volunteers was of utmost importance. Um not just the events that we've had to cancel, the sporting events, but also some of the fundraising events as well, correct? Sadly, we've canceled almost a million dollars worth of law enforcement torch run events and many other events, but they're already gearing up for next year. And Dana, you know, we have an unbelievably resilient program. Oh, we really, really do. And that is partly because of you, Barry, and your leadership. Um, from the, my involvement with Special Olympics, I learned that people with intellectual disabilities are among the most medically underserved population in the world. They are underserved, which we work very hard to help remedy through our Healthy Athletes program. But also important to note, our athletes are 50 times more likely to have underlying health conditions that put, in, put them at a higher risk than the general population. Because of this, many of our athletes were out of work and school and isolated at home. Does that, so speaking of being isolated at home, the feeling of isolation that many of us have right now is a feeling that our athletes tell us that we face that they face all the time. Mm -hmm. So um, 
I, I know that you miss Travis being in your office. Absolutely. Um, our program associate, Travis Lutheran, is also an athlete. And since the pandemic started, he's been working from home. Uh, he couldn't be here with us in person tonight, but he has a special message for us. I really miss being in the office with my coworkers. I'm thankful that I can work from my home office, writing thank you notes, and staying in touch with other athletes. I have also miss my friends on my swim team. We are looking forward to when we can practice and compete again. Your support means our local programs can continue. My friends are eager to get back to. Isn't Travis such an inspiration? His work ethic and his motivation are, they're just outstanding. Uh, Barry, I've got to tell you that the last couple of years at the gala, I danced with you and I also danced with Travis and honestly, he blew you away, man. Well, <laughs> Travis gets asked to dance a lot more than I do, so he's got a lot more practice. So, I mean, he's certainly I really, a great dancer, yes. I like you, but you're not winning any trophies, <laughs> any dance trophies. Now, we do have a couple more athletes that we want you to meet. There's Sierra from Sumter and seven-year-old Benjamin, and I think he's with his mom and dad, right? Right. Hi, my name is Sierra. I love participating in Special Olympics through my school, Sumter High. Through my school, we have unified sports and we train with our peers. It's important to me to be on a team where everybody sees my ability and not my disability. Thank you. Bye. My name is Benji Collum, and this is my son, Ben. Um, I love kickball. And? And basketball! Basketball! And we live in Mount Pleasant, and with your continued support, Ben can play with his friends and develop his skills on and off the court. Thank you. Anything else, Ben? No. Oh, wow, Barry. Aren't those some amazing stories and remarkable athletes? Incredible. <laughs> and those are just a few examples of how Special Olympics brings happiness, health, and togetherness to so many by giving them a chance to participate in sports instead of being sidelined. Um, Barry, thank you for coming and being with me today. Thank you so much for hosting this, Dana. You're truly a great board member and volunteer for our program, so thanks for doing this. Thank you, and you and I next year on the dance floor at the gala in person. You got it. Okay. Promise? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, thanks. And now we're going on to the most important part of our night. Here's how you can transform a life and get some really cool stuff for yourself in the process. Make sure you register for the online auction. Visit www.sogala.org. It's S-O-G-A-L-A dot O-R-G. And then under the main header, click register here. Simply create an account and you are all set. If you run into any problems, you can contact our development staff. And we're going to post their emails at the end of our program. So if you have any problems, please reach out to them. So now let's take a look at some of the items up for bid. Bid often. Bid high over the next four days. Calling all Disney fans. This item is for you. Yes, there are a few restrictions at the park, but you can plan your family Christmas vacation with a package of five Disney World passes. Lodging meals and fast passes are not included, so plan a picnic and wear comfortable shoes. Our next item is a one-of-a-kind painting, and all of our athletes are tremendously talented and we have a special painting from a Columbia athlete, Lindsay Palmer. Several years ago, um, Lindsay was recovering from heart surgery and she was limited in physical activities. So she started pursuing painting by numbers art and her paintings are so detailed and beautiful. They are truly, truly works of art. She has donated one for us. It's called Paris Cafe. And that is the painting that we are showing you now for this auction. I love it. Um, I don't know about you, but quarantine has given me a bit of cabin fever. If you are like me and my family, you're looking to get out of town and relax a little bit sometimes. So you're going to love this gorgeous farmhouse rental on Lake Kiowi in the upstate. You'll enjoy a three night stay in a five bedroom, 4,700 square foot home. And the home is on a secluded deep water cove 
on the beautiful Lake Kiwi. Our next item is definitely for the ladies. Thanks to Krogan's Jewel Box in Charleston for their donation of this beautiful gold and diamond ring. I love modeling jewelry. Honey, honey, start the bidding. Um, it's a stunning oval ring. It's 14 karat gold and pave diamond ring. Pave, people think, means paved or encrusted, but um, it also means expensive and beautiful. Our final item tonight is an amazing photo safari trip to South Africa. This trip's been a hot seller over the past four years at our in-person galas, and it is a bucket list trip for sure. This trip is six days and six nights at the Zula Nyala Heritage Safari Lodge, and it includes two guided game tours a day and three meals a day. I mean, that really is a bucket list trip. You have to admit, those were some amazing items. They definitely had some wow factor. And there is more where those came from, and they will include fabulous items that you may want to buy for yourself, or you might want to consider buying some gifts since it is the beginning of holiday season. We're going to have things like a round of golf at Bulls Bay Golf Club, vacation rentals in the Isle of Palms and Myrtle Beach, artwork, some sports memorabilia, spa packages, and of course, some other beautiful and fine jewelry. You'll also have the opportunity to sponsor an athlete in South Carolina. This is probably something you did not know, but our athletes participate in Special Olympics for free. There's no registration cost or fees that they have to pay to be involved, but it does cost money to put on a successful competition. Um, so a donation of only $100 covers the cost of one athlete at a state competition, and that includes housing, meals, and transportation for the entire weekend for that athlete. We need those types of donations as we move into the new year so that when we are able to get back together and do in-person training and in-person competitions, our athletes will have that same special experience. Please make a donation and make a championship experience for our athletes. Now, I know that that was a lot of information that we just covered, so if you missed anything, do not worry. You can find these items and others on our website, sogala.org, S-O-G-A-L-A dot org. If you have any problems bidding or you encounter issues with our system, our development staff is available to answer any questions you have. Their emails are listed on our screen right now and just send one of them an email and they'll be on standby to assist you. Okay, make sure to remember that the auction will be open over the next five days. It will close on Tuesday, November 24th at 9 p.m. After that, you will receive a text notifying you if you won or lost an item if you placed a bid. On Wednesday, November 25th, we're gonna make a live announcement about the total amount of money we raised, so please join us. I have been honored and feel privileged to be here with you tonight. I've enjoyed my time with you. Thank you for joining us. Happy bidding and thank you for supporting Special Olympics.